Hi everyone, today we're here visiting Rebecca Sweets Garden in Northern California. She's a landscape designer and has a beautiful garden. Hi Rebecca, thanks for Hi, having us. thanks for coming. Rebecca has a lot of out of the ordinary plants and it's also really drought tolerant. Even though the garden's only a few years old, there's a lot to see, so let's take a look. So here we are at the front of the, of the yard and Rebecca has planted all the way to the street. So Rebecca, let's, you wanna take, give us a little tour of what you've got here? Sure, well, well, what's interesting about this garden that I found is that it's actually on a slope. And at the street side level here, it's actually got a fair amount of water, which here in California is That's like a plus, isn't it? A plus. <laughs> so I can plant a little thirstier things down here without me having to supplement them with water, mm -hmm. like the hydrangea and the Amsonia and nice. the Japanese maple. Nice. So I get my little water thirsty fix yeah. without having to use a lot of resources oh, because great. The water table is higher. Yeah. That's so super. that's that's why this looks so good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. <laughs> and I wish it's just a strip about three feet mm -hmm. wide that uh -huh. has that water. Okay. So uh, I pack them in. Yeah. But good. then as we go further up, you'll see it yeah. gets a lot hotter and drier. <laughs> okay. Well, let's take a look at what's okay. up that way. Great. So Rebecca, I think you mentioned that there wasn't much here when you when you moved in. Right. There was just just think a moonscape. That's what I had. <laughs> there was a handful of um, shrubs that were here, mm -hmm. then that's it. And, uh, and the dry stream bed that's here, that uh, just emptied out into the street mm -hmm. when we do get rain, <laughs> which isn't very much. And so uh, I had a blank canvas to work with, which nice. would be pretty overwhelming for a lot of people, but uh, mm -hmm. it was even overwhelming for me sometimes. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> but it was, it was great because I finally had a big garden. This is the whole garden is one acre, and I finally had a place to experiment and play, and plant some of the uh, my favorite plants that I've always wanted to use in my own garden that mm -hmm. get quite large, mm -hmm. and that's really what this garden has turned into nice. is like my grand experiment. Yeah, great. <laughs> and you have, you have a lot of trees here too. I have, yeah, the trees. oak trees were here. I think yeah. on the whole property is seventeen of them. And nice. And uh, which is nice because mm -hmm. it d does give that filtered light. But um, as anybody who knows who yeah. has oak trees out here, yeah. they they can just fall oh, for no reason. Yeah. And the drought that we've had mm -hmm. really has wreaked havoc you over the years. And we've them. lost yeah. about six pretty big ones. Oh wow! Yeah. Which always mm -hmm. uh, um, makes it fun <laughs> to yeah. redesign a yeah. garden bed that. You had going in. <laughs> that one yeah. filtered light yeah. now gets the blistering hot sun. Yeah, it is. So can, it's it's challenging. Yeah. We've got tons it of is, deer. Can get very hot. Tons of deer. We oh, have yeah. Hordes of turkeys that walk through and we <laughs> oh, have wow. moles and Oh my. No no yeah. rabbits yet. But, but you couldn't tell by looking at the garden. I mean it's beautiful. Thanks. Everything looks yeah, great. It's um I've had you know, I get a lot of plants sent to me. Uh -huh. Um I used to get a lot more from yeah. uh, different growers and mm -hmm. like proven winners and and sunset plants and, mm -hmm. which is southern living plants yeah to trial nice which yeah. has been great and mm -hmm. so i took a lot of those with me from my last garden mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like this one of my favorite ones here yeah. that's done so well is yeah. the spice bush and oh yeah and the variety is aphrodite mm -hmm. by, um, by proven winners it's beautiful and when i was scented it was like in a four inch pot wow and i <laughs> love it, it does yeah. so well here uh-huh and so what's interesting is I try a lot of these plants that on the tags might say, mm -hmm. you know, average water. And mm -hmm. uh, I can tell you, no, it doesn't get much at all because oh, I, don't, I don't coddle my plants. Yeah, that's great. And so, um, nice. you know, I've had a lot of successes with different varieties mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and some failures. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A lot of failures. Uh -huh. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just kind of learning what yeah. thrives out here because it's mm -hmm. so hot. It mm -hmm. gets 110 regularly all during the summer. Oh, and sure. we do not get it zero summer rain mm -hmm. so oh wow yeah they have know, to be tough don't they're they? tough yeah yeah well i was just noticing a columbine over here that's sure pretty thanks a lot and so a lot of the plants also that i've chosen mm -hmm. um are from my mother's garden oh, when i moved nice. here uh, my mother my father passed away and yeah. so we had to get her garden ready and uh -huh. her home ready to sell to downsize and mm -hmm. there's so many beautiful plants there meaningful plants sure that we took cuttings and dug some up and yeah. and uh, they live here now. Nice. And it's great. That's My mother great. has a smaller garden now, mm -hmm. so oh, she'll neat. say, hey, remember that columbine <laughs> I gave you? Yeah. <laughs> Want to yeah. give it back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
no well, mother. <laughs> that's an easy one to do though. I know, so I get seed. seedlings and yeah. cuttings and yeah. it, it's been really great. So yeah. the plants here, really, the style mm -hmm. here is very mixed. Yeah. Well, very meaningful plants, emotional plants, yeah. and then trial plants, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. a lot of, you know, regular, ordinary plants. Yeah. Well, and I thought it was amazing you were talking about how you start so many things from cuttings. And, yes, um, right. Did you have to amend the soil at all to... Oh, yeah. So I would think that yeah. would make a big difference with how well they take off. Yes, I, ha I have to amend the soil because, as I mentioned, there was nothing here. And mm -hmm. the people were the original owners of this house. And, um, you know, gardening wasn't their thing. I'll just mm -hmm. put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> so the soil here is just... It's what it was yeah. from the 80s, kind oh. of when this development was yeah. built. And, uh -huh. and pretty compacted and yeah. not much. So mm -hmm. I amend the soil. I give it a lot of compost and then put okay. a top layer of mulch over it. But then that's about it. Mm -hmm. Like I say, I don't want to keep right. coddling my plants. They have yeah. to adapt. and Yeah, they've got a good base and then yeah, they yeah. can just go from But there. I do start a lot from yeah. cuttings because um, that's just the way you're going to... The only way for us sometimes, we mm -hmm. have a real limited plant palette out here. Yeah. And if you want to try new things and experiment with unusual varieties, mm -hmm. sometimes you have to do it through cuttings of yeah. somebody else's plant that they've had, sure. like my mother's yeah. garden. Yeah, you know, nice so pass along plants. A there. lot of pass along plants, yeah. and now my daughter daughter is really into gardening. And oh, nice! So yeah. I'm starting cuttings for her and teaching mm -hmm. her how to do it. Oh, and great! Yeah, That's this great. is like the cutting central here yeah. for both my mother and my daughter. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, maybe we can take a look at a little more of the garden. Sure. Great. This is a really beautiful part of the garden, Rebecca. I love this little plant combination Thank you have you. here. And not something I see a lot of. So what have yeah. you got going yeah. on here? Well, uh, this is, uh, we're now entering the hot zone. Okay. <laughs> where we're exiting yeah. uh -huh. the oak tree uh, mm -hmm. shade. Yeah. And so I, in my garden, I use a lot of um, natives. I have a lot of native oh, plants. Yeah. I have a lot of Australian plants. I have oh, to really yeah. embrace Australia, <laughs> the other hot, dry place. Yeah. I have a lot of Mediterranean plants. Great. And so I use a lot of grevilleas. This mm -hmm. is grevillea, peaches and cream. Very pretty. Which is so happy here. Yeah. And uh, the Lamandra grasses. This is Platinum That's Beauty Ooh, by yeah. Southern Living Sunset uh -huh. Plant Collection. Very and, pretty. and the Mediterranean Flomus, mm -hmm. um, Jerusalem sage is oh, its yeah. common name. Uh -huh. um, I've got lavender mirlo here, which oh. is another southern living sunset plant collection. Yeah, so nice to have that fragrant I, foliage. I have a salvia canary island sage back there that's just getting ready to do it. Great. It grows to like 10 feet, eight, wow. eight nine feet tall, just beautiful. <laughs> nice. So uh, you, yeah. a lot of plants that can take that real hot sun, mm -hmm. real low water. Nice. Yeah, and you know, the thing I like too is you mentioned experimenting with plants, and you, yes. so you have just like one of some things. So right, I mean, yeah. So, so how do you make that cohesive? Yeah, so it doesn't look like I yeah. suffer from one of each itis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, well, what you really need to do to prevent that mm -hmm. um, is pull out an element that you can repeat. Okay. To add that kind of ribbon of unity. So okay. it could be the color. Mm -hmm. or the texture or the form mm -hmm. and so if you pull one of those out and mm -hmm. repeat it that's how oh. you avoid that one yeah. of each itis oh, look nice. yeah. and so in this particular example the color uh, that i've pulled out is that creamy mm -hmm. soft uh, yellow from yeah. the flowers of the grevillea even the striping there mm -hmm. the variegation of the uh, yeah. lamandra of course this is not a soft yellow, it's a little brighter. Yes, yeah, good <laughs> But to it's that. sort of woven throughout, even yeah. the variegated lavender. Yeah, and, it looks great. And uh, throughout. So mm -hmm. that's how you can sort of pull things together to make it work. Excellent. I have to remember that tip. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a good one because if you're a plant holic like yeah. I am, and probably uh -huh. a lot of your readers are, yes. it's really easy to go down a bad road and <laughs> all of a sudden everything yeah. just looks like a mishmash of. Yeah of everything so that, yeah I can relate to that yeah we all can <laughs> I think you mentioned a prairie that you've been working on and kind of new but let's maybe wander sure. over that way and yes take my a look. favorite style of all is that uh, is a prairie style like the naturalistic movement mm -hmm. um, I love it great and I know you're from the Midwest and <laughs> yes. you get those prairies mm -hmm. well I don't out yeah, here but it's so. something I'm working on yeah so, great let's yeah. go take a look so this is a newer bed, I think you said, and maybe and you're working on kind of a prairie meadow look for yes, your garden. Exactly, that, exactly. So um, I started to work on this garden, this particular part of the garden, about 
three, four years ago. And when we moved here, it was a half dead lawn with a totally dead oak tree in the middle of it, which yeah. as you know, oak trees don't want to live in the middle of lawns, So that made sense. Yeah. So I took the whole thing out and I kind of re-sculptured it. So uh, it captures the water in the bottom there and retains oh, the nice. water. Yeah. So I thought, well, I'll create a rain garden, but mm -hmm. since we don't get a whole lot of rain, <laughs> yeah. it's like, well, let's create a mm -hmm. modified meadow, which yeah. I love. And, uh -huh. and so I'm using a lot of different plants that sort of have that look, that real mm -hmm. you know, naturalistic, tall, thin mm -hmm. stems, lots of grasses, yeah. and, yeah. and um, that's what we have here. Nice. What are some of the plants you're using? So I use a lot of different grasses. Some of them aren't coming up quite yet. And be, uh, I like the evergreen grasses, like the Lamandras, because mm -hmm. they kind of look mm -hmm. good all year round yeah. here. Yeah. And um, like that real tall one over there, that's, I, I took that from my last garden. That's a variety I've never seen. It's a juncus, but oh, the wow. uh, variety huh. is javelin. And so oh. it grows really tall yeah. and it doesn't spread. It just sort of forms this nice, nice evergreen clump. clump. Mm -hmm. So I've got that. And then a lot of the Mediterranean plants, again, like mm -hmm. the, ras uh, the rosemary yeah. and the grevillea ground cover. And th those are evergreen because mm -hmm. I don't want this to be like a true meadow, yeah. which is pretty much blank in the winter. Right. I want it yeah. to look good because yeah. our winters are pretty mild yeah. here. So I just have a mix, nice. different... Uh, yeah, and I see you have the drier stuff up here near the drive, and then yes, and so yeah. I'll put. I've I've really experimented with Amsonia, which I which oh, is such yeah. a rarity out here. Mm -hmm. You just can't yeah. you can't hardly find it or buy it. Uh huh. And it does want a little more water, so yeah. I plant it um, down where where it does retain that water mm -hmm. a little longer. Yeah. And it does well. It's not quite as big as the one out front. Mm -hmm. Um, that gets kind of water from that water table, but yeah. But here, at least it's half size and it looks great. And I love the Amsonia. Oh, I love yeah. it's uh, so pretty. Um, the Echinacea pallida, which oh, we yeah. also can't find out here, the yeah. nurseries. Uh -huh. you know, and I'm yeah. going to keep saying that because I'm hoping the nurseries <laughs> watch this and start bringing in these plants because they yeah. do really well yeah. here. Oh, that's a great cultivar. So I do a lot yeah. of um, online, uh, online shopping nice. from yeah. sources like Prairie Nursery yeah. where I can get these plants. Yeah. And I'm trying to see what does well in this mm -hmm. hot climate with no mm -hmm. summer rain, yeah. just a little irrigation, mm -hmm. and uh, what doesn't. So yeah. it is my grand experiment. Yeah, great. <laughs> That's great. Well, I think, and then it looks like you have a slope up the way. Shall we take a look? And... I do. It's a really large berm okay. that is that was here. Uh huh. Kind and of separates you from the neighbor. Yes, and... it separates us from the neighbor, and um, that's been a challenge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, well, let's go, go look and it. see what you did. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> You have a really good story about this <laughs> this slope. Can you share that with us? Sure. So it's a really long berm that was here, mm -hmm. um, and I think um, well, I think what happened is when they were building this place, they put all of their um, garbage here, <laughs> like <laughs> you know, rocks and I find broken bricks and chunks yeah. of cement and terrible fill mm -hmm. and yeah. they just wanted to create the height um, oh, to sure. give a little separation from the yeah. neighbor mm -hmm. you know no yeah. thought was given towards plants <laughs> yeah so it's been incredibly challenging mm -hmm. to see what will grow here and yeah. not to mention it is in the full hot sun in the summer oh, and it's yeah. very fast drainage mm -hmm. you know too mm -hmm. fast so yeah. I've had a lot of plant death here oh yeah which uh, has been um, quite the experiment to see what will yeah. live and mm -hmm. Again, embracing Australia yeah, has been right. my go-to uh -huh. um, decision here. So I sure. have, a, have a lot of grevilleas, but done pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, I have some really tall ones. I've got some ground covers like behind me here oh, yeah. that are great. Mm -hmm. um, Westringias or Westringia, however you pronounce it. Yeah. Here, they've done really, really well. Sure. Euphorbias. Uh, I see the lavender over the there The lavender, again, again yeah. that Mirlo lavender that I mm -hmm. love so much mm -hmm. and some of the grasses. But I have a lot of things that will seem to do well and then mm -hmm. they kind of hit that, the garbage that's down, oh, yeah, <laughs> down deep get, I can't really yeah, get to. Yeah, sure. So I don't know what type of soil mm -hmm. that is. It's just crazy. And yeah. Little soil analysis tests aren't telling me. You uh -huh. know, they don't have that category yeah. of like, we don't know what is in here. <laughs> but yeah. uh, I, it's finally starting to fill in and looking Great. pretty good. So you hit on a mix that works. Uh, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, so I'm pretty so. happy with this. And, and it takes that sun, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. which is, has been great. Very nice. And I noticed you've kind of repeated some of the yellow that you yeah, had that, over there. That, I, that is, that's kind of a color that I carry through is mm -hmm. that 
creamy variegation that's yeah. soft yellow and great and uh, the bull bean bull mm -hmm. bean a, however mm -hmm. you pronounce that yep. <laughs> that's done well with the yellow flowers yeah. and uh -huh. um, great and uh, i see you've added another prairie plant blanket mm -hmm. flower that yes nice. I, I just put this in not too long ago mm -hmm. <laughs> that does really well here yeah that's crazy that will bloom beautiful. That, th those plants the the mm -hmm. gyardias oh yeah gyardias mm -hmm. they will bloom like pretty much year round out oh, here. Oh, great. I always That's tell excellent. people they bloom themselves to death because uh, <laughs> they just kind of poop yeah. out. They can't take mm -hmm. it anymore after sure. two years. Yeah. Uh, but they do really well. They do seem pretty short lived. Yeah. 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 But it's really worth the effort. They're worth the effort. <laughs> yeah. Rebecca, thanks so much for having us here today. It's been fabulous learning about all that you're doing here in the garden. And I know that um, you have a blog, Harmony in the Garden. We'll put a link to that below. So be sure to check out her blog and um, you know find, follow along and see how these garden yeah, beds thanks. are coming along. But this has been great. Yes, yeah. I write about a lot. Of, I write about a lot of these plants. Yeah. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm a plant lover, so I love <laughs> to share. Uh, my successes and, yeah. and what can work in really hot, dry climates. So Excellent. thanks so much for coming yeah. out and seeing my garden. Sure. Thanks for having us. Okay.